limited, but the fighting spirit instilled in them since the arrival of manager Gordon Diel, coupled with some poor defending by the Jags, saw them take an early lead through Neil Jablonski. The former Dundee player in the right place at the right time, but Thistle manager Dick Campbell was less than pleased with the part his defenders played in the opener and has warned there'll be a mass clear out in the summer. The Fur Hill side could have fallen further behind a few minutes later when Paul McMullen's corner was nodded onto the roof of the net by Jonathan Smart, the big defender obviously frustrated by his effort. The visitors' first real attempt came just after the half hour when Adam Strachan got on the end of Willie Snowden's cross, but Rovers keeper David Bertolo was equal to it. DL's side knew that a win could have a huge bearing on Partick's first division future. Scott Crabb trying to increase their advantage after the break, but just off target. They thought they had doubled their advantage, though, when McMullen's free kick eventually fell to that same man, and Crabb stuck it back across the face of goal for Ian Davidson to stab home. The celebrations were short-lived, though, as the chance was ruled out for offside. Some of the defending in this match was poor to say the least and Campbell would have been fuming from the dugout as his side failed to clear the lines here. A decent save from keeper Neil Bennett though and he was called into action again just seconds later when Wraith's top scorer John Martin took possession out wide on the right and managed to get a shot in at the near post. Side's pressure did pay off though when McMullen's corner was glanced home by the head of Pat Clark. They may have nothing left to play for this season, but Rovers' youngsters delighted nonetheless. If things were bad for Partick now, they could have been even worse when Crabb managed to lay another one on for Clark. This time though, the Jags managing to clear the danger. And the visitors thought they should have had a penalty when David Bertolo challenged Lee Hines, but referee Mike Ritchie was having none of it. It's not in the Jags' nature to give up, though, even when it looks to be a lost cause. And when sub Derek Fleming found Andy Gibson out wide on the right, he set up Ramon Eskelis to give them a lifeline at the back post. Simple finish from the number 16 at the back post, but difficult times ahead for Thistle. Well, there's a lot of the players at this club have to, have to go, to be honest. I'm here to build a football club, and I'm going to build a football club. I'll come up smiling again as soon as I can. <laughs>